How's it going everyone? This is Kevin. Today I want to bring along with me to show you this really cool GoPro mount. So let's jump right into it. So I've personally made my fair share of POV style street photography videos and I've been trying to figure out the best method to just have the easiest way to mount my GoPro on the go so it's faster. See, I've used previously this little clip mount that it has been pretty good but one of the things that I don't like about it, um, it's this GoPro one that comes with it, is that, well it doesn't come with it, I had to get extra, but uh, besides the point, um, it's cool and all but since I have to have a backpack with me at all times, it kind of defeats the purpose of you know trying to be light with my gear setup so I decided to test out this snap um, GoPro mount which is basically magnetic that you're able to just snap it onto wherever the necklace kind of part is and then go from there so you just see how it fits and then go from there you walk around so I'm gonna see how good it is to see if it's that much better than what I usually do I am using a sweatshirt today so I don't know how well it'll go since it's a little bit looser maybe you're supposed to use a t-shirt but this is what I would use it like so we're gonna go ahead and test it out this way so essentially how it works is this necklace you put it underneath your garment and it's a um, kind of like a magnet to just with the other part is a me metal so you just put it in here so mine the microphone clicks um, but there you go that's how you put it it's underneath here so whenever I grab my GoPro it should just you know snap on and I can leave it as if I was Iron Man I guess because that's what it just feels like kind of funny to me but that's just essentially what it is so we're gonna try to do some POV street photography where there's really not much going on today but just wanted to test it out where I'm not really caring how the photos come out because it's a test kind of subject of this so I might have to move it up a little bit more just so it stays more sturdy not kind of flip down but we'll test it out here together so now that I have it strapped on me I'm gonna go set up my you know camera to go take some photos and we're gonna you know start using this now to see how it turns out and I'll give you my kind of thoughts on it to see if it's that much better or not and go from there Well, right now I'm just gonna be sitting down here. Uh, I'm gonna review the footage on my phone a bit just to kind of get an idea. Mainly for me, what I I'm just looking for is that it's not as pointed down as it feels like it can be, because this is as far as it kind of goes back, which isn't horrible because the way the GoPros work, obviously the wide field of view might be fine. So that's what I'm gonna test out and see whenever I'm reviewing it to see if that makes sense or not. Because for me, my main thing is trying to make sure that it's just capturing what I'm trying to capture with my POV set up with the photos so that I'm showing some behind the scenes rather than just simply you know the ground so so I guess I'm gonna you know mount this off in a second like as so see how if I pull it it stays that's actually pretty good but now you have to like go ahead and separate it um, so I'm gonna go ahead and review it real quick and then I'll bring some final thoughts well after reviewing the GoPro footage it's okay I mean I do notice a lot more jitters than what I normally would if I'm using the clip onto my camera bag. So I'm gonna try to see if I can just do a little bit of comparison, I guess, or if I need to set this something differently, like between the two in a sense. Um, Cause I did bring it up a little bit higher, but maybe I need to do higher, but it's like as high as it can kind of go so that it would stay more to my chest. Since it is pointed down just a little bit, don't want it to be too downwards cause it just shows more down than like, more a normal field of view so this is the only thing for me that i'm not in love with but it, it is the first day of testing so i still have to kind of get more dived into kind of specking it out to see what i like the height and everything 
So I'm just gonna try to see if there's another way to mount this because I might have to just mount it backwards where like it's facing up and then have it that way. So I'm gonna see if that works out. But I don't think it will just because of the weight distribution might not make sense, but let's test it out real quick. It's barely putting it on, it's already falling down. So definitely not that way. So we're gonna have to figure out a better way to set this one up and see if it makes more sense. I'm gonna try putting it a little bit higher up and that's kind of choky as it can get, I guess, to see if it'll stabilize it more. And it also might be because it was a little bit lower light. I know with lower light, GoPros kind of, kind of stabilization tends to go to crap. So we're gonna test it out this way and see if that makes more sense and go from there. Just one little quick lap around right here. Nothing crazy. I'm not gonna really take photos. I just wanna see the footage itself, how it looks. And then I might test it out on my clip thing, the same walk, just to kind of compare it. So that way in case you guys are wondering which one is better and easier, you can know. So the first one we'll go with the strap thing right there and then we'll do the clip. So we're gonna walk around one little lap right here and see how it goes. I was gonna take a photo, bam. Keep going. And that's her little loop I guess so we're gonna put it on the clip now and with the backpack because I'll have to wear a backpack so we'll see how that goes so normally I would do it this way having my backpack there I would even close over like this just to kind of hold it more sturdy but um, so I'll just have to kind of make sure that it's where I wanted it to be and then go from there that's usually how I set it up it's a lot faster in a sense with that aspect and you can kind of rotate it up a little bit more than what you can with the chest mount thing that I have, but we'll just see how it goes and test it out this way. Testing out to see how it looks, if it moves better or not. We're pretending we're taking the same photo and then moving on. But that's just essentially how I would be using this, so have to kind of compare both of them and see how it goes but I don't know I mean it could be good it could be not so we'll see here shortly So after actually reviewing the footage again, I think it was just more the low light to be honest, but it is something to consider whenever you have this, you know, mounted on you. With the low light, the stabilization of the GoPro isn't gonna be as nice. So one of the things that I would just recommend is I guess try not to use it under low light, keep a couple setups, but, but for what it is, it really, it'll be fine, I think. I mean, long term, I mean, it's very easy to use. I know I'm having to figure out the height for me, maybe the clothes as well, but after I did my second round of just doing the little loop around with the clip versus this it worked out pretty fine and i think it was a good comparison because both of them have something different to apply but if i don't want to have a backpack this is obviously the winner for me but if i have my backpack and i don't want to have this strapped around my neck or chest sometimes maybe i'll just bring the clip so but it's just pros and cons between each and i just think that depending if you want to travel light this one is probably better for you so something to know but if you do like what you saw i do will have this in the description down below that you can get it through my affiliate link through amazon and no extra cost to you but it does help support the channel and anything that you get from there really does help out so i know everybody says it but i do appreciate it that if you do support the channel that way and watching the video does help out a lot so appreciate that a lot but anyways as we are winding down with this video i think just the main thing is is what is best for you i think this setup right here is pretty cool because i don't have to worry about bringing my backpack 
track with me if I just want to go out and do one POV style of video where I do my intro at home and only bring this and then my camera to be just more condensed down I think this is a great setup so that's something to consider for me a lot of the times when it comes down to going out to create is how much can I condense there's a reason why I condense down to the 35 to 150 despite of it being a bigger lens it still is condensing because now I don't have to bring too many lenses to carry around and be able to create I can just stick to one with an f2 to 2.8 is pretty good enough for me and then also I have my 17 and 28 whenever I need to go wider but most of the time shooting photos is just with my 35 to 150 and the b-roll and everything like that more of the vlogging is a 17 to 28 so traveling light has been nice so I'm trying to keep this as light as possible so that whenever I'm out creating I'm not drawing too much attention and I'm also just able to just walk around and not have my back hurting from having my backpack or something like that so I'm excited to put this more to the test in future trips so I wanted to share my insight on how it went with trying it out today. But with all that said and done, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Share this video with a friend. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.